Hey guys, what's up? It's Brandon again, and today is the Abyssal Demon Slayer Guide. Before I get in the actual guide itself on RuneScape, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a background on the Abyssal Demons. They level 124 combat with 1,500 life points and require 85 Slayer to kill. They can be assigned by Simona, Kiradel, Lapalak, or Duradel, and have a melee based attack style with a weakness to magic, dark light, or silver light. However, using a whip, chaotix, or even Barrow's armor and weapons are probably more practical and even more effective in my opinion. Where they're found are Kyrdal's dungeon, but note you can't even go into Kyrdal's dungeon unless she is your slayer master and your task is inside of her dungeon. Also the abyssal area, I'm not going to be showing you this in this guy, but this is also a pretty good place to go because it's usually less crowded. To get there just use the fairy ring code ALR. And last but not least, what I'm going to be showing you in this video is Slayer Tower. Mainly, I'm picking this one because anybody can get there, no matter who assigned the task, anything like that. As long as you beat uh, the one quest, Priest in Peril, you can get there, or have a Slayer Ring, you can get there pretty easily. So let's head over there to RuneScape, and I'll begin the guide, show you guys how to do that, and I'll see you later. Hope you guys enjoy. Hey guys, what's up? It's Brandon again, and um, like I told you, I'm still doing Slayer, and I actually got one that I'm going to make a guide on. You might be wondering why the map's up, but that's just because, um, you know, my map loads really slow, and I figured if I'm going to show you guys how to get there, I might as well have the map up already, and then go into my inventory and set up and all that. So my task is Abyssal Demons, and to get there, if you don't have uh, Cure Doll as a... Slayer Master, so you can't just go into her dungeon. You're gonna have to go to Slayer Tower, and if you don't have Slayer Ring to get there, what you're what you're gonna want to do is come to Varrock and follow this path here, up past uh, the lumber yard through this gate here by the dig site, and uh, run up to this temple. Once you're in the temple, come down here, and it leads you through a path, and you go through the portal at the other side of the path, and come out here. From there, it's just straight north and you end up at Slayer Tower. But uh, for the sake of the video, because I have Slayer Rings, I'm going to get there using Slayer Rings because um, it's a lot quicker and I can get to uh, the actual setup and everything a lot sooner. So this is a setup I like to have. Bone Crusher is not necessary because they drop Infernal Ashes. But if you want to have Infernal Urns, then these are a really good task to bring them on. You don't need a unicorn, obviously, but uh, you definitely want to have at least a bunyip or something that can heal you just to be safe. If you have a bunyip, I recommend bringing some food. But if you have a unicorn, you should be a high enough level by then that you can uh, handle these without food. They're not that tough. So, once you go here, I'm going to go to Slayer Tower. Oh, wow. Well, now I'm lagging. Sorry about that. Sorry about that, my internet's uh, kind of slow uh, right now. I don't know why, but um, yeah. So, basically, these are pretty self-explanatory to kill. Not uh, Nothing really you have to do special to kill them, but this is just more of a guide how to get there, what to watch out for, and uh, some of the drops, see if you can get any of that. And, obviously, the inventory set up, where they are. Also, they do teleport you a little bit back and forth uh, uh, to other sides of them. Although that might be mage, that doesn't really hurt you. I don't think it actually does any damage, so don't even bother with mage armor. Uh, I just use straight bandos. If you want to use um, rune or any, any melee gear, that's fine. You don't need anything special to kill them. Your best melee gear is probably going to work out good for you rather than range armor or anything like that. So, once you're at Slayer Tower, that's where you come out of the portal, by the way, down here. You're going to want to follow this path up here through the gate. Once you get through this door, if you don't have the agility level to climb up the spikes, you're going to have to run all the way around to... Oh, wow, I just attacked a bat. Um, if you don't have the agility level to climb up these spikes, you're going to want to run all the way around and go up these stairs to the second floor but I can go up the spike so just to make it easier but beware if you go up the spike there are aberrant specters up there and uh, they are mage based so especially if you have melee armor on 
pray if you want. If not, just run to the stairs just west of them as fast as you can get there. So you're going to want to run all the way up here, up to the third floor, climb up these stairs. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry about that. So then you're going to follow this path, the only way it really leads to the east here. And they'll lead you to gargoyles from here. Go north through the door into the necreal room. In it, uh, the necreals. Don't worry, they, they aren't uh, aggressive unless you attack them. So once you're here, follow this west, and there'll be just a little empty room kind of thing here. And right up here is where the abyssal demons are. As you can see, it's pretty full. That's why I recommend if you can use Kyrdal as your leader. That way. You, uh, it, it's not really as full because you need to have them assigned to even get into her dungeon. So it makes it a lot easier. But if not, I mean, this is always a, a good place to go to. So this is what I mean by they teleport you. See, he's far away. It's not really worth, like, flipping the screen around. Uh, he was already almost dead. So, uh, yeah, basically, there's nothing really special to do. You attack them. Um, they, that little purple thing you just saw up here, they teleport you around like this don't worry about that it doesn't hurt you it just moves you and it messes up your screen angle that's why I always usually just keep it on north uh, makes it a lot easier so you're gonna be constantly moving around you know uh, all over the place but um it's pretty self-explanatory just be sure to watch your hit points uh, if you have a bunyip definitely uh, bring one of them summon them right away bring a spare pouch just in case one thing to note, these do drop a lot of Crimson Charms, but uh, the drop rate of the Abyssal Whips themselves seem to be uh, uh, a lot lower than what they used to be. You used to be able to get one or two a task, now you're, you'll be lucky to get one every three or four tasks. So, uh, I mean, other than that, they drop Crimson Charms, they can drop some of the new Ring of Wealth drop table drops, I believe, and uh, Noted Pure Essence. So I always pick them up just because it doesn't really hurt. They're noted. I mean, but again, if you want to bring an infernal uh, urn here, probably a good idea because they do drop infernal ashes. They also drop some runes and herbs, but I don't usually pick them up because they don't drop a lot at a time. And by the end of the task, you're not really going to have a lot of them that really add up to much at all. So that's, that's about it, guys. These are pretty self-explanatory to kill. Got to be sure to watch your hit points. Don't be uh, a little. You're going to be a little confused when you see uh, all the teleporting the first time, but you'll get used to it. Just don't. I know for me personally, I'm always trying to adjust my camera angle and make it fit perfectly and make it look good when I'm attacking them. Just make it comfortable for me. But don't worry about with these because you're just going to be constantly spinning it around like this, just trying to look for a good angle. But um, other than that, guys. These aren't really that hard to kill at all, though they're 124 combat. If you have Bandos or even even Rune or uh, Barrow's armor, like him here, they don't really hit all that often. As long as you have a Bunyip and a couple food, you should be you should be set. So um, that's about it for the guide, guys. Um, I am going to be hopefully making a vlog tomorrow to give you guys a little heads up on how the range guide and all that kind of stuff is going. Um, if I get another task tonight after these that I want to record, uh, I will record it, but I'm not going to put it out right away to like overflow every like all the sub boxes and everything. I'm just gonna uh, hold off on that for a couple days and put it out when I get there. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for a vlog tomorrow, and I will see you later. Oh, and uh, one more thing before I go, I don't know if he's still here. Yep, another shout out to Elky here. Say hi to YouTube. But uh, he's he's been really cool. I've been talking to him a lot lately, almost every single day. I mean, he's he's in my clan chat a lot, and uh, he's he's really nice. So if you guys want to join my friends chat, feel free. Username as you can see, Bluff. Uh, simple as that. Just come in, talk to us. I let everyone join. Anything, I'll add you if you join. Uh, just last thing, quick. My friends list now. I did add some people that are subscribed to me. Um, yeah, but thanks again for watching, guys. I'll see you tomorrow with a new vlog. And good luck slaying, guys. I'll see you later.